Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 8th, 2021. So today we have Apophyllite, stay positive, and Aragonite, release your emotional bag. <laughs> These two came out together and it made me laugh. By the way, this is our focus for the day, angelic messages. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. I'm so happy that you're here. But these two coming up together is so something you would hear from like a practitioner who's trying to be popular, like a spiritual practitioner who's trying to sound popular. Just stay positive. You just need to release your emotional baggage. Listen, it's not as simple as that. What this is saying is that there's a lot of potential here, okay? So make sure you're staying the course. You are not allowing yourself to dip too far down in you know, a negative space, whether that's um, a negative thought form, you know, feeling like you are disempowered or that you can't make your dreams a reality or that you can't somehow do your part as a human by raising your consciousness to help with the era that we have come into, right? What's going to happen here? Because the reason why the stay positive is popping up, you're going to have this quote unquote baggage <laughs> popping up, okay? All of it all of it, right? It's going to become, maybe not just today, but it's, you know, it's a process, right? It's a process. And it's all going to be coming up for you to examine and look at and be prepared to release it. Yeah. And I think this is really beautiful because I think some of us are going to be, you know, on a more serious note, doing a lot of trauma healing. Yes. Make sure you have proper support in doing trauma healing. We are only doing spiritual stuff here. This is not a replacement for therapy. And if you are going to go into therapy, please make sure that you have somebody who specializes in what you feel you need to deal with. Okay. So this, this comes down to that old storytelling, which is a lesson I've been learning recently, looking back on stories and going, well, I wasn't very nice to that person. <laughs> you know, I was coming from a space of such fear and I always remembered them as not being nice to me. And I go, you know what? I, I could have been a little more open to hearing their side of the story and I wasn't. You know, having those kinds of acknowledgements can really help us get to this place of healing. So we're, we can release those stories because that's what the baggage is. It's not, it, I mean, it could be the experience, but it's more about the story we tell ourselves around the experience. And somehow how we were wronged and it never became right. And we are all about making things right. And so maybe this is you finding closure on something. One of the most irritating things, <laughs> I'm laughing because this is, this is such like a brain reaction. I find it irritating when people are like, well, sometimes someone's not going to give you closure. And you just have to find, I'm like, no, <laughs> Comment down below if you have a reaction like that ever. Um, but it's true. You know, the peace is within us. And sometimes other souls show up in their forms, doing their thing, and it really just cracks up against what we're trying to do. And then we hang on to this residual hurt, pain, hate, resentment. And all it does is drag us down and get in the way of what we're supposed to be doing as human beings on this planet right now, which is to raise the frequency of the planet and also to understand how to turn these flesh bodies into a more spiritually integrated being and not have the separation as much. I said a few days ago, we'll be learning as well the truest nature of time and how can we flow through it and what does that look like, right? All right, so we have Archangel Ariel, all about material abundance, transmutation, that's Archangel Zad, you know, these are going all over the place. Uh, Raphael healing, yeah, this emotional healing. Raphael's all about the heart healing, Ariel's about the root chakra, at least in my mind, um, about the root chakra, nature, detoxifying through nature, uh, and the root chakra can be our sense of safety. It's our, uh, you know, our home, our money, um, how we feel in this world. How do we feel in our skin? And Zadkiel comes along and says, yeah, you're probably not doing so great there. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Zadkiel could come in here and say, what are you uncomfortable with? Let it come up 
imagine it coming out. It's still going to be attached to you. Maybe you'll, everyone will do a visualization. It'll look different to you. But maybe you see it as a thought form coming out and it's still attached to you. And Archangel Zadkiel, which is the St. Germain energy, can come in with a violet flame and let that all dissipate. Okay? Let it be healed and transmuted. Oh, I forgot this little guy up here. Hi. Protection. I love it. So you're protected as you go through this process. You don't need to be afraid of looking at what you need to look at. And again, make sure you have proper support. Make sure you're working with a therapist, especially if you're doing anything with trauma healing. Okay. But it is time guys. It is time to free yourselves. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.